it's a broken family dynamic at this point. I'm not sure exactly how we got there, but we're here. Next, we go to family court in Morristown, New Jersey. The plaintiff is 18-year-old Rachel Canning. The defendants? Her own parents. The teen who claims she was verbally abused and kicked out of the home is suing them for financial support. She's seeking $654 per week to cover private school and college tuition and payment of her legal bills. The parents claim Rachel made her own decision to leave home, and as such, they're not responsible for her bills. Even though Canning's 18, she claims she's not an emancipated adult and is still dependent on her parents. I believe that she is a vulnerable young woman, and her parents aren't taking care of her, and I'm asking the court to help her in this very difficult situation because they have constructively abandoned her. And I believe that they are being negligent and irresponsible. These statements that they don't want to help her and they've left her on the street are so dramatic. There's no reason she couldn't come home to her household in her private school and her new car, but she didn't want to give up the boyfriend. Great, right, thank you very much, counsel. One of the driving forces behind the suit is that mom and dad don't approve of Rachel's boyfriend. Her attorney reads a transcript from a phone call made by Rachel's mother, Elizabeth. We gave her the ultimatum of breaking up with her boyfriend, and if she didn't break up with her boyfriend, then she wasn't allowed to stay past her 18th birthday. And that's the crux of it. That is the problem in this case. But according to Rachel's parents, the boyfriend is part of a much larger problem with their daughter's behavior, which they've shared with Judge Peter Bogart. They've raised several issues, and obviously several uh, mistakes have been made. Uh, the young lady who is in court has an alleged history staying out during the week from 12 to 1 o'clock, drinking, was brought home one night by a male friend's parent at 3 o'clock, intoxicated, school suspensions, was stripped of her captaincy as a cheerleader, was removed from the campus ministry. I don't think what the county is saying is true. According to Canning, the verbal abuse she suffered at home was so bad, her private high school supported her decision to leave. They have been behind this move because they see and they know that what's going on in the Canning household is not good for Rachel. Unfortunately for Canning, the decision for the money, known as emergent relief, is not up to the school. It's up to the judge. But after hearing an angry voicemail Canning left for her parents... You're a real f***ing winner, aren't you? I really just want to it all over your face right now. Anyway, I f***ing hate you. Have a nice life. He has some strong words for the plaintiff. Have you ever seen a young adult child, whatever we want to call Rachel, show such gross disrespect for a parent? The words that were used in a voicemail to her mother? Maybe you have. It, it's not I right. don't see it in my I'm, I'm not exactly, you don't see it in your house. However, we also have the certification from the teacher where the mother is calling the daughter the same kind of name. So I would go, that's the parents that set that precedent. They're the ones who raised this child. This is the language that they're using in their household. Are we going to uh, condone or open the gates to a 12-year-old to sue for an Xbox, a 13-year-old to sue for an iPhone, or how about a 15-year-old asking for a 60-inch flat panel TV? Uh, I understand the allegations that are raised in this case are far more serious than those types of material goods. But again, I'd like the full counsel to be mindful of a potential slippery slope here. Finally, the judge makes his decision. All requests at this time for emergent relief are denied. Canning eventually returns home and later drops the lawsuit. And in case you're wondering, she did break up with the boyfriend. She's always going to be your daughter, no matter what happens. Thank you, Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam.
Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.